All right, welcome back, art students. I am almost done here. I'm getting pretty close. I'm gonna take my marker here and do what I call the ink wash technique. So I'm just going to uh, rub in some of this black ink. And my goal is to try to make this appear to look like or be a rain cloud. Um, these were found a lot in uh, the artwork that I was looking at. So I thought it'd be fun to try it out. And the key to success here is that you work a little bit quickly with your marker ink if you're gonna do an ink wash so that when you add the water, you can still shift around and manipulate where those particles are moving. If you let it dry for too long, they kind of want to be a little bit more stubborn and just stay in one place. And I'm trying to quick work in here and I might even just go over it one more time. Do, 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 do. There we go. And I think I'll just do like a little outline. Like that. Now I'm going to take a wet water brush now that I'm done working with my ink and then I'm going to just kind of scrub around the particles and let those bristles really help me out in lifting, pushing, pulling some of these particles around. Now I need to be very mindful and be very careful as I get close to an area like this is bright vivid white and that's the look I want to retain so I need to be very careful and gentle not to let my water run too freely into that area. So only using a little bit of water in your brush is highly recommended. And then I can start to, let me just kind of work my way around here. But you can kind of see how it's alternating or altering the uh, appearance rather than just applying ink right from my Crayola marker. The water is really helping change the look of it a little bit. Now I'm going to wash out my brush and use just water in my brush, no ink whatsoever. And when I get rid of a lot of that ink that was loaded in my bristles, it gives me more of this uh, effect where I can kind of load it up a little bit down here. And then I can work my way up and kind of allow these... Um, this ink to kind of flow down a little bit more controllably. So this kind of looks like a rain cloud that's dumping a bunch of rain. And I'm just gonna let that dry like that. So that would be how you do some ink washing. Maybe I'll do some ink washing um, up here. And since I said I'm working with the color green, maybe I will actually invite some green here. But like I said, I don't want to use too much. So I'm just going to go around here very carefully with just a little bit of green from my marker. And I just kind of circled my way around. I'm going to scrub out my water brush here. And then I'm going to kind of wash that green around. You can get some really nice uh, blending to occur when you use the combination of a wet brush and um, your marker ink. It's really kind of nice how they work together. Now, this doesn't work with all markers. I find that it tends to work a little bit nicer with the Crayola brand markers than any other type. So there I have a little bit of a green kind of look going on to it. And I don't want to work on top of my wet surfaces because if I just take, for example, some dark colored pencil work on top of this wet area, it might tear a hole through the paper. I don't want to trust it to be too strong. So I'm just going to um, make a few more choices for coloring. I'm going to invite this nice 
dark brown color. It's kind of like a coffee bean color. It's really nice. Oh my goodness. I am just loving this art project. It is so cool. It looks so authentic. Like it's actually from Niwe, from the country Niwe. It looks like it really came from there. Gonna, it's okay to rotate your paper too once in a while to get a better angle because maybe you have to now because you don't want to get your hand wet. Just be very careful. And yeah, you know, that's pretty much there is to this project. So I'm going to stop the video and then you will get to see a picture of my final artwork when it's all done here. Can't wait to show you it. And I can't wait especially to see your um, designs and how you come up with them. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoy this. Have fun. And I can't wait to see it. Bye-bye.